Chapter 25 of 1 Samuel, it's an interesting chapter. The chapter opens with a brief mention of the passing of the prophet Samuel. And we read about David's interaction with this couple named Nabal and Abigail. Now, we're told that Nabal was a very wealthy man, that he owned thousands of sheep and goats. Now, during this time, it wouldn't be uncommon for a well-stocked herd such as Nabal's to experience raids and theft from, from groups like the Philistines. Well, David and his men provided a service for Nabal by protecting his flocks. And as David and his men were making their way through Nabal's area, David sends a small group of his men to Nabal's camp. And he asked for provisions. Essentially what David was doing was asking for fair compensation for the service that he and his men had provided. Well, we read that, that Nabal refuses. And David says to his men, boys, grab your swords, let's go to battle. It's a very intense scene. And it looks as though things are about to get very bloody. But we read that Nabal, who is described as a crude and a mean man, had a level-headed and beautiful wife named Abigail, who was able to defuse the whole situation before it ignited by bringing food and provisions to David and reminding him of God's plan for his life. And David, he kind of stops in his tracks and doesn't pursue his vengeful vendetta against Nabal. And when Abigail returns home, she actually finds her husband feasting and partying as if he doesn't have a care in the world. And so when he sobers, she tells him of how she intervened. And he has a stroke. And it tells us that 10 days later he dies and eventually Abigail becomes David's wife. Now, there is a lot going on in this chapter. I mean, chapter 25 is, is 44 verses in length, and there's much to this story. But one of the lessons we glean from this chapter is that our actions and attitudes have a huge effect on the course of our lives and the lives around us. You see, Abigail responded in tact, wisdom, and seemingly helped everyone avoid disaster. She wisely asked David to consider the outcome of his choices and how bad it could be, and she asked him to let the Lord settle the matter instead of taking vengeance into his own hands. And that lesson, that's a good lesson for all of us today. Let the Lord fight your battles. As it says in Romans 12, verse 17, never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see that you're honorable. Do all that you can to live at peace with everyone. Friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord.